Hello. Today we are going to learn how to utilize the USAWC Easy Proxy prefix in order to correctly link to online articles when creating your course in Blackboard or course directive. The first question that may come to mind is, why do I have to do this? The simple answer is that by using Easy Proxy linking to access library resources, you and the War College are protected from copyright infringement. Therefore, you do not have to consult the fair use checklist. To fully understand why, we must first discuss what is Easy Proxy and how it works. Easy Proxy is essentially an online tool or pathway that allows for off-site user authentication to subscription databases and journals. When a user from the War College is accessing subscription content online, access is authenticated by IP address. This is why you do not have to enter a username or password when you are on base. This is also true if you are utilizing Google or Google Scholar from the War College. But if you or your students attempt to access the same content from off-site, your individual IP addresses will not be recognized and access will not be granted. Easy Proxy provides the means for authentication through our institutional login, thus providing access to what you want, when you want it. Since we have discussed the why, now we can discuss the how. The first step is to locate a resource that you would like to use for your course. From the library's homepage, we want to utilize the Search Databases tab from the search box to conduct a keyword search. So, for example, if we were interested in counterinsurgency, once we've conducted our search, we can use the filters located on the left side of the screen to limit or refine our results, which will assist us in finding the most current and relevant information on our topic. Once we find an article that we want to use, we want to click on the title and navigate to whichever particular database contains the article. Once we find an article that we want to use, we want to click on the title and navigate to whichever particular database contains the article. So for example, we have an article here from ProQuest, as well as an article from Taylor and Francis. Now that we have found some articles that we want to use for our course, we want to keep these tabs open, but we also want to go back to the tab in our internet browser that has the library's homepage which is this screen right here with gold boxes. This page should still be up if you did not close it previously. From the main screen of the library's homepage, we want to click on the green tab on the left side of the screen that reads for faculty and staff. From the faculty and staff page, we then want to navigate to the box on the left side of the screen underneath the green tabs that reads faculty quick links. Inside of the Faculty Quick Links box, we then want to click on the link that reads How to Link to Articles. You should now see a screen containing the Easy Proxy linking tool in the box labeled Link Builder. There are also two additional green tabs up at the top that read Step-by-Step -step Instructions and Finding the Links Database Examples. The layout of each of the databases is different and how you find the stable link varies with each. You may need to refer to these pages depending on which databases you are using. So, to recap, we should now have our tabs open with the articles that we want to use, as well as the linking tool. Working with the ProQuest article first, we find the stable link by clicking on the Cite button in the top right of the screen. A pop-up window should appear with the full citation. You can copy and paste the entire citation into your course directive or Blackboard, but for now we are primarily concerned with the URL address located at the end of the citation. We want to copy this URL, navigate back to our page with the linking tool, and paste the URL into the linking tool. Follow the steps by clicking the button to create a new link. A new link should appear at the bottom that contains the War College Easy Proxy prefix. Now, 
This is the link that we want to use for our course. We can copy the new link and paste it into Word or Blackboard. I'm also going to go back to the page with the article and copy the citation. So now, in my Word document, I have the citation for the resource I want to use, as well as the new link that I created using the Easy Proxy tool. Now, we're going to repeat this process with the other article we found in Taylor and Francis. Taylor and Francis does not provide us with a stable link. Instead, we have a DOI number. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier, and just as we did with our link in ProQuest, we want to copy the DOI number and paste it into our linking tool. After copying the DOI number into the tool, we want to paste the additional prefix that is stated at the top of the page. This prefix should be pasted in front of the DOI number. Again, we then follow the steps and click the button in step two, and voila. Again, we have an easy proxy enabled link that we can copy into our Word document. So now, in my Word document, I have the citation for the article I wish to use, and I have the new easy proxy enabled link that I created. I'm going to further refine the look of my citation by editing the hyperlink. You can do this by right-clicking on the URL address and click on the option that reads Edit Hyperlink. I should point out that you first have to ensure the text has changed to blue in Word to denote that it is a hyperlink before attempting to edit it. Once I click on Edit Hyperlink, a pop-up will appear. You should see two fields with the link listed the text to display, and the address. We do not want to change the actual address for our link, but we do want to change how the link appears in Word. Since we found this article in ProQuest, we can change the appearance of the link to ProQuest. So now we have our full citation as well as our edited hyperlink in our Word document. This now brings us to our final step. We want to test our links. Now, there is no valid way to test your links from the War College, because as we discussed previously, access from a computer at Carlisle Barracks will be authenticated by IP address. So you will want to test your links from off-site, whether at your home, Starbucks, or wherever, and when you click on any link that you have created, you will want to see a certain screen. This blue screen that reads access to this resource is limited to current U.S. Army War College students, faculty, and staff is the screen that we want to see anytime we are accessing a database or journal from off post. This allows us to input our username and password, as well as the students, for access. If you do not see this screen, then something went wrong. This concludes our lesson on how to properly configure links for off-site access. But, of course, if you encounter any problems with finding the stable link or DOI number, creating links with the tool, or any other access-related issues when creating your course, the Root Hall Library staff are always available to assist you. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.